Hi everyone. Have you ever asked yourself, should I put my tab view inside navigation stack or the other way around? I've seen this question so many times. Some people only stick to one way, but the answer isn't always that obvious. So today, I'll show you what they look like and I will break down with the real code. Let's take a look at the first one. In this example, I put navigation stack inside tab view. Each tab has its own navigation stack. You can see when I tap the button to navigate, the tab bar is still there at the bottom. The UX feels natural because most system apps with tab use this pattern, like App Store, Apple Music, and Contacts, and more. And I guess you have already been familiar with those apps. Sound good, right? But there must be some cons. And yes, there are. The first one, we can not share destination across tabs. If you use some views in a lot of places in your apps, it might be difficult to manage. The second one is dangerous one. The users can switch between tabs while performing a long task on another tab. This might cause unintended side effects if you're not careful. For example, the state of a tab might not be updated after submitting data on another tab. So, make sure to design your app with that in mind. Well, as a developer, one thing you can do to prevent those side effects is to hide the tab bar. And to hide the tab bar, we can use .toolbar visibility .hidden for tab bar like this. It was fine when I push, but when I go back, you will see that that's a glitch and that's not acceptable at all. We use this modifier when we make a custom tab bar, but in order to hide it, we have to find other solutions. And what I'll do is to move the navigation stack outside. This time, I'll show what happens when we do the other way around, moving the navigation stack outside. When I push, it works fine and it doesn't show the tab bar as well. And when I go back, that's tab bar right there without any glitch. This way, it's easier to hide the tab bar and prevent any side effects from switching between tabs. And you can share navigation destinations across tabs, which is very useful when some screens can be entered from different locations in the app. This approach is not commonly used in the system apps. However, you can easily find it in many famous apps like Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, YouTube, and so much more. In fact, complex apps use both approach in one app. But unfortunately, as of now in April 2025 with iOS 18, we cannot do that in pure Swift UI. But that's the way to use both approach in Swift UI apps. We need to use UI Kit and integrate back to Swift UI using your view controller representable protocol. Note that this is fully supported by Apple and it's not just a cheap workaround. I'll show you a demo on how it looks like when we combine both approaches in one app. I implemented this native system using UI navigation controller and UI tab bar controller from UIKit and integrate to Swift UI using UI view controller representable. You can download the source code from the description. I won't go in detail in this video, but I promise I will make a video explaining this. You can see when I tap navigate inside, the tab bar is still there because I use navigation stack inside the tab bar. And when I tap navigate outside, the tab bar is gone because I use the navigation stack outside the tab bar. All I did was using two navigation stacks, one inside and one outside the tab view. That's it. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.